Florida State University's Special Olympics organization was founded in the fall of 2018 and promotes inclusivity through sports, campaigns, and community involvement for people with and without intellectual disabilities. It was difficult for me to sort of find good friends and like feel like I was a part of the community. Being involved with Special Olympics really made the word inclusion come to life in my life. Like it was amazing. Our unified teams at FSU are like half FSU students and half individuals with intellectual disabilities. And we just play together as teammates and as friends. Um, we're coached by the same coach. We play the same games. I've made like genuine friendships with the athletes and they've made genuine friendships with me. So I think it's, it impacts everybody in a really positive way. Athletes, partners, coaches, like everybody that's involved. Longtime Special Olympic athletes Kendrick McClary and Albert Dorsey take leadership to the next level when it comes to making everyone feel a part of the team. I like the leadership. I like when a young kid look up to me. It made me feel great about myself because I got a younger daughter. She folk. Don't matter how you are, how position you are, like what you have, what disabilities you have, anybody can do it. I try to just give back and just help out as much as I can, you know what I mean, whether I'm just helping out with the next team make or if they look down on themselves, I'll say, hey, you can do it better. Make that person as a family and just include everybody as a whole family. Family is very important to FSU Special Olympics members as they are currently working on a special project devoted to their former teammate and FSU family member, Kimberly Thompson. The Unity Bench has been a long project for us that started back in February of this year. Athletes, community members from Tallahassee as well as Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and, and South Florida have been collecting plastic bottle tops and we are going to drive those plastic bottle tops up to Indiana, have them melted down, and we're going to turn them into what we like to call a Unity Bench. The bench will serve as a dedication to a beloved teammate who passed away from COVID earlier this year. Our teammate Kimberly Thompson was somebody that everyone knew as the person that made you smile. As soon as you saw her, she was ready to give you a big hug. And so we, you know, we really miss Kim and we want everybody in the future to know about her legacy. Through sportsmanship, hard work and collaborative projects like the Unity Bench, FSU Special Olympics has earned an extraordinary title, the first university in Florida to be named a National Banner School. In regards to becoming a National Banner School to be recognized, there are 10 um, standards of like excellence that a school has to meet. Florida State's application was uh, extremely detailed. It was literally a whole entire book. It was great. I read through all of it. They provided great pictures and videos um, to show like what they've been doing at the school. Having this national recognition also gives us an opportunity to celebrate the steps that we've made. By no means do we want this to be an award that says we've done all we can do and our job is done. This is just the beginning. FSU Special Olympics continues to fight for a more united, kinder, and connected world, leading by example when it comes to building a more inclusive community for all. Inclusion is a celebrating diversity and bringing people together, and we hope that by including people, we can continue to create a, a better world that more people feel accepted. Nobody's, you know, up here and somebody's down here. We're all just hanging out. We're just friends. We're playing sports, having fun, spreading the word about, you know, our club and about Special Olympics and the mission. People really care for you and it's not just a love for sports, but a sense of community involvement and camaraderie. I feel very included and loved. I'm Jordan Karnvac reporting. Oh,